friends, it is that time again. It is time for the Star Wars box. This is the Smuggler's Bounty box. This is a bi-monthly box. This is my second one. Um, my first official one. The last one I got, I ordered after the fact when I decided to sign up for this. So every box that comes out, which is every two months, bi-monthly, um, it has a theme. Last time, my last video, the theme was Resistance. The first box was back at the end of last year, and that theme was First Order. So First Order, last time was the Resistance. This time, the theme is Cantina. So, let's take a look. And one of the cool things is, too, that you get a exclusive shirt in the boxes every single time. Exclusively made for this box. And this box is by Funko. So you get some cool stuff in here. Now, <clears throat> when you open it up, you see in the top, before you even get into the guts of the box, you always get a pen and a um, patch that are according to the theme. So here is the patch. It says Moe's Isley on it. So, all right, the next thing is the pin. Here's the pin. It's got one of the little guys that was in the band from the first movie. Well, when I say the first movie, I mean A New Hope. That's what I mean when I say the first movie. Because to me, it came out in the 1970s. What's the first movie? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that I see here is a pin. An exclusive pin because it said it has Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. It's a pin with Chewie on it. Look at Chewbacca. And he, it looks like uh, his bobblehead from last time. From the last box. It was a flocked bobblehead of Chewbacca. So that's what this one looks like. It looks like Chewbacca. Cool. And it has pop on there. Okay, the next item is, oh, that t-shirt. I thought I changed my t-shirt size. Crapola. Because last time I thought the large was going to fit me, but it was a little too tight for the boobs. And it looks like they sent me an extra large again. I guess I'm going to have to send them an email. This looks a little bit bigger than the last time. Okay, anyway, so um, this is pretty cool. These are exclusive shirts made specifically for this box. It says on it, Funko. It says Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty on the, the, ta the uh, tag. Um, and it's Han Solo. <gasps> it's, it looks like a wanted poster. For Han Solo. Look at that. It says down at the bottom, wanted for smuggling. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, it does look bigger than the last one. I hope this one fits better. Because I like this one a lot. How awesome. Issued by the Galactic Empire. Criminal wanted dead or alive. <laughs> ah, and it's the Star Wars Force Awakens. I love that. Love it. Okay. Now this is pretty awesome. They're, they sent two pop figurines in here this time. That's awesome. The first one is, now both of these it says are exclusive smuggler bounty. Okay. So the first one is Red Snaggletooth, Donald Bobblehead. That's what it looks like. Now, I heard that you could get either the red or the blue. 
is what I heard. So anyway, Red Snaggletooth. That's pretty cool. He's holding his gun with his little furry feet and his one little Snaggletooth sticking out there. And the other one is... Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi with his lightsaber. His blue lightsaber. Look at that. Love it. It's got a plastic thing on his head won't move. So it's kind of so cool. So, so cool. Very nice. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let me ask you. For those of you who get this stuff, should I take them out of the box? I mean, these bobbleheads, should I take them out of the box and display them or should I leave them in the box and display them? Let me know what your opinion is because I don't know. I don't know. So, that's everything that is in the smuggler's box for the cantina box. That was... That's everything that's in the Smuggler's Cantina box. Smuggler's Bounty Cantina box. I will have a link down below that is for your convenience if you were interested in this box. Like I said, it's bi-monthly. And uh, I can't remember how much it is. I'll put in here how much it is. Somewhere in here. So that is everything. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this totally awesome t-shirt fits me better than the last one does. This one looks like it's bigger. All right. So that's everything for this box. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxings. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can come back and sit for a spell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.